Hey, it's Ruben in the shop bringing you another sales video. We have 18 items leaving the shop today. My name is Ruben. I am a reseller. I've been so for a very long time now, about a decade. Um, I've been full time for uh, just over a year now. Um, I sell on multiple platforms. I like to show you what sold, let you know what I paid for it. Um, and yeah, tell you a story if there's a story to go with it. Let's see what's leaving the shop. Here are the goods. We'll start over here. Some media. Sold this CD. Uh, what is it? Velvet Acid Christ. Um, this is some of that like dark wave music. I got in a bit a lot. Paid a dollar for it. It sold for 15 Next is Joe Simon. The Cooking Kind. This is a reel to reel. Um, got it in a big lot. This is one of the last ones. Sold for $27. Have this. Saturday Evening Post. I got this at auction. I think it was a lot of eight of them. There's, this is one of two left. I got $10 for that. And then, I have this Wentworth Military Academy catalog. Um, it's from the 30s, I believe. And had lots of pictures in it. Um, I have a smaller version also up for sale. I had it listed for 40 bucks. Someone offered me 20 Look at these guys ready to go. Um, and yeah, I took 20 because I don't know how many people are going to be interested. Sold this uh, Oster hair clipper set. It's complete. It's in there. I got that out of the recent closet. Haven't done that video haul yet, but it's coming shortly. Um, that sold on Macari for $39 plus shipping. And it sold the same day that it was listed. So that was great couple other Macari sales. This uh, lot of the Berenstein Bears, uh, 36 of them there. Those sold for $80 free shipping on Macari. Those are going to be shipped media mail. Seven pounds media mail rate is... Okay. Um, next is this lot of books. Dr. Seuss, um, Bright and Early Books, Beginning Readers. Um, that lot sold for $24 free shipping. Again, I'll be sending that out media mail. Books, music, um, film, and software can be shipped media mail. Not video games, though. And next is this painting. It's by Bluma Klein. Bluma K right there. Um, for the longest time, I had this listed as just Bluma K. I didn't know who Bluma Klein, I didn't know her last name. And then about a year ago, someone hit me up. I had this listed for $360. It's a painting of a building in New Orleans, the Gallier House. Original price of $45. Um, yeah, so I had it up for $360. Someone hit me up. They're like, hey, I knew Bluma. Uh, her work doesn't ever sell for that much money. I'll give you $120, I think. Um, I said, thank you for the information, but I really like the painting, so 180 About six months to a year passes. I think it's the same person. They came in. They bought it for 180 They sent the offer. I accepted it. I really like the painting, but you got to let things go sometimes. So 180 bucks, and that's pretty easy ship for art. Next is this backgammon set. A little traveling case. I got $31.50 for it, plus shipping. Um, when you're dealing with backgammon, the most important part is the pieces. So, for whatever reason, the blue ones are a little bit thicker than the white ones. So, that's how it worked out. There's an equal number of both. But, the number you're looking for is 15. You want 15 of each. As far as the die go, um, it's nice if they're there, but if they're not, no big deal. One of these die usually has numbers on it instead of the dots, so this is already a replacement die. But um, 15, that's the number. And it's always nice to sell these sets. Paid two bucks for this at a garage sale, and yeah, got 31 for it, so happy with that sale. It's going to Philadelphia. Next is this pile of clothes. Um, all this clothes sold on eBay? Yep. So first is this pair of guest jeans. 
They sold for $39. This is one of those cases where I sent out an offer this morning and the person bought it, but the, it came out to full price. Then they hit me up and said, hey, I thought I was buying these for 39 So I happily refunded them the money, but I think there's a glitch there that eBay has. Next is this pair of leather pants, just beige leather pants. See these all over the thrift stores. Um, they usually want extra money because they're leather. Uh, they're not usually that valuable unless they're vintage, and especially if they're like motorcycle leathers. Um, this pair is just a regular pair of leather pants from the 80s. I got them out of a closet, um, and they sold for 20 bucks. Next is this um, turtleneck. It's kind of like a thicker knit. It's Tommy Hilfiger surplus. Um, that sold for $29. I paid, I think, $6 at Savers. Next is this Polo Ralph Lauren underwear. Ooh, I need to check. I might have the wrong one because this is supposed to be a sleepwear. Um, similar thing. It sold for 20 bucks. This is a Hawaiian shirt, Kahala, made in Hawaii. It's a medium. It has this uh, Fisher Fisherman pattern. That sold for $22. Sold this yellow and black jersey. It's vintage. It's missing most of the label. I think it was a champion label. Not sure. But still a pretty cool thing. That sold for $21. Sold the Desert Operation Desert Storm Raglan sweatshirt. Um, that sold for $31. It's a pretty cool thing. It's an Artax. It's a vintage Artax label. Sold this Mizzen and Main. That's the brand. Um, shirt. That's a really good brand. There was a minute there where that was like a crazy brand. Like all the shirts were going for $100 plus. Um, it's cooled down quite a bit. It has like a stretchier material. It feels like a really nice shirt to wear. Um, it's made in the USA. That sold for 30 bucks. Just a note, these do fit a little bit snug. And finally, we have this Harley Davidson long sleeve shirt. There's the one on the chest. It's a small. No, it's a medium. Good color to it. That sold for $31. There you have it. That's what sold. I found that right uh, Ralph Lauren thing. So get the right one shipped out. Um, as I said, I'm really curious about Macari and how it's going to do this year. I did about 4000 in sales last year, but that was only, gosh, uh, for maybe six six to eight months. I have about 800 listings on Macari at this point. Um, what I do is once I list something on eBay, I just copy and paste and just immediately list it on Macari. It's been a good system for me because some stuff that, like these Berenstein Bear books, they were getting a lot of likes on Macari. On eBay, they're kind of just sitting there, even though I know there's a market on eBay for the Berenstein Bear books, especially in lots. That's how you want to do it. Um, so maybe just quicker sales on Macari. I am doing, uh, except for media, I'm doing plus shipping now on Macari just because I didn't think that the free shipping was represented well enough. So that's what I'm doing here in the shop. I'm going to get this stuff packed up, shipped out, and get to listing. It's the beginning of the year. Let's start with a, uh, with a sprint and we'll uh, see what we can get done. My name's Ruben. I'm having a good day. Hoping you're having a good day. Let's talk again soon.